Sandam, and welcome to this very important video, putting together even more pieces of the puzzle in the conspiracy against Paramahamsa Sri Nityananda. Um, they have both had very close personal relationships with the men who were the conspirators behind the attack against Nityananda. The monster who is your ex-husband? His name is Douglas McKellar. Is when I came to know he is conspiring against Swamiji. He and Vinay both approached me and asked me to put a false allegation against Swamiji saying that Swamiji had sex with me. Right after he had approached um, Mahaprabha for a um, for lying about Swamiji, he started to actively pursue this sexual relationship with me. He knew you were 12 years old. Yes, of course okay. he didn't know um, the full story of this attack against Swamiji. When a fake video was leaked by a group called Sun TV, the now defunct Sun TV, um, for whom the COO is behind bars, um, the video that Sun TV played was the video that basically came as the product between uh, the alliance between these three men, and so Douglas and Vinay and Lennon. Now, the way that they morphed this video of the actress Ranjita and made it look like she was in a compromising position with Swamiji, you literally knew that they had the capacity to do that because they threatened they were going to do the same thing with you. So he tries to force a 12-year-old girl to claim that Swamiji had had sex with her. Mm -hmm. She refused. They didn't leave it at that, did they? They continued to pursue fake victims, and they finally caught one. We know for a fact she's lying because she's disease-riddled. She's so contagious that her own medical report states if she even just touches her lips, she can pass on herpes. Um, the dates that she claimed Swamiji raped her in this ashram, Swamiji himself wasn't even physically in the ashram. He was traveling. Mm -hmm. She initially refused this completely, mm -hmm. showing that her allegations against Swamiji are completely false. Absolutely. Just changing your story like that does not happen to a real victim, no. and I can say so for a fact. Yes, so of course. Showing It all goes to show that in the end, Swamiji is paying for the sacrifice that he ultimately did. Wow. Um, and he literally risked his entire sangha, mm -hmm. his entire name, fame, Mm. money, everything for devotees, for wow. me, for yeah. her, um, and who knows how many people, how many victims who have not come forward yet, mm. they were. And um, let's not person. forget Lenin Karupan also. Mm -hmm. It's a connection with Sun TV again, right. and political because of his family. Yes. Too. So that's why they're able to make it in this extent, mm. they can Doug try it in a smaller way, scale proof this is working. Mm -hmm. And they took it in a bigger scale. Wow. Lennon got in trouble for his immoral and uh, hurtful relationships with women inside of the Sangha. And yes. at that point he was kicked out of the Sangha and wow. that made him also another disgruntled member. So that's one thing that these two share in common, both Vinay and Lennon were kicked out of Nityananda Sangha for having inappropriate relationships with women. A um, fake morphed video came mm. out, um, which was um, heavily destructive to yes. the Sangha. Yes. Um, after that, Swamiji was arrested, I think in Illegal. April, in yes. illegally without a victim. For no six victim, months, no evidence, for, no crime. Mm -hmm. mm. For six months, so there was no victim there, there was n no crime. Um, but Lennon Kalpern had went ahead and filed a false allegation of rape. Once again, it's a man mm -hmm. older than Swamiji who files the rape charge. Yeah, but saying saying that there there is a victim, saying that somehow saying that the um, the video is evidence for the rape. Which, of course, Ran Ranjita later comes out and says, no, there's nothing... There's the video is not even real. Yeah. And, um, and the, even if the video were real, anybody who has seen that video sees that the two actors portraying mm -hmm. Swamiji and Ranjita 
it's a consensual act. Mm -hmm. Even if that video, which yes. is not real, was real, mm -hmm. that's not a crime. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, of course, that itself being evidence mm -hmm. was un had no basis. Mm -hmm. Then, for six months, there was no victim. In this period, we can believe, we can see that at some point, Lennon Karpin had pulled out Arti from um, wh wherever she was mm -hmm. and convinced her entirely to um, write her statement mm. um, and fake all of the allegations. Wow. I believe Lennon has had a relationship with mm. Arti, so he oh. was able to convince her. Mm -hmm. oh, where does that belief come from? It's, it's a hunch or you've heard No, them? I've seen their email. I've known mm. Arti before this okay. in, the, in the community. And there are some, there are some... If I find um, that email, I will definitely... Yes. Most of you. There are some... Um, Ashramites and um, uh, civilian affidavits um, stating that they have seen them having a relationship with each other. Wow. And we all know she wasn't a faithful wife to her husband. Not at all. Um, because of the medical report that shows she contracted four sexually transmitted diseases mm -hmm. in a time after she was married, but before she claims these rapes from Swamiji took place. Mm -hmm. So that shows a lot about her moral character. And I mean, I've even read the, the statistics online. Um, someone who's contracted more than three STDs, 90% uh, of the time they've engaged in some form of prostitution. Mm -hmm. So who knows what desperate times called for what desperate measures in her life. I just personally can't understand how any situation could be so desperate as to lie about Swamiji, mm -hmm. especially after seeing the good he does in the world. Uh, how many starving people he feeds, how many sick people he heals, how many poor students he educates for free. And how many, how much sacrifice he yes. goes for just a few devotees. Yes. And Aarti Rao Premishwari Mai was holding the space, he was giving her the space mm -hmm. as her mother. I understand the name Mai. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't know her spiritual I, I name until I used to today. look at her so up and high, you know, mm -hmm. just because how Swamiji has given that space of my mm -hmm. mother. Mai. I mean, um, Ma Nityananda Mai, who was Ranjita, and Ma Sneha Mai, all the Mai's in the Sangha. We literally treat them as if they are the mother of Swamiji. Yes, Daya I used to so call her Mami. Mm -hmm. so. And Swamiji has actually described to us anyone <laughs> to whom he gives the spiritual name Mai, he relates with as his own mother. So imagine the sickness and the perversion of somebody to make a claim that someone who treats you as a mother, whom you should be seen as a son, has raped you. That's, that's literally the most heinous thing I can possibly imagine. Uh, maybe the only thing worse than that would be having your husband try to coerce you to say that you had sex with someone whom you see as a mother figure, which you've mentioned is the way that you relate with Swamiji. So I think it's basically clear now that the media attack against Swamiji was a deliberate, planned, and well-executed mm -hmm. uh, conspiracy. Mm -hmm. So many years they planned it, they looked and looked fine, the people. And after so much they spent, they literally didn't have anybody come as a victim or to mm -hmm. do false allegation. And in fact, even to this day, the blog site that your ex-husband runs, um, I looked at it just yesterday because as all of this was coming out over these last few weeks, mm -hmm. I remembered seeing something when I first started my own YouTube channel. One of my viewers sent me a statement saying, um, why is it that Swamiji has raped so many women? Mm -hmm. And I said, Swamiji has never raped any women. His testosterone level is lower than that of a seven-year-old boy. Mm -hmm. um, he doesn't even look at a woman with lust because... His body is capable of producing its own dopamine at will, so he can create whatever sensation he wants without the use of another human being. Several, mm -hmm. several affidavits, professional mm -hmm. doctors have come forward and said that whatever Aadhi uh, and any allegation of mm -hmm. rape um, has said against him is not even possible. Mm -hmm. He's not even capable He's of He's not capable that. of that. So I, I explained to them... Swamiji has not raped anyone and does not rape anyone. Where are you getting this information? They sent me a link to a blog related to Nityananda cult. And I read the blog post that they had seen, and basically the information they were getting is that at the end of that blog post, 
there was a statement that says, if you are one of the many women abused by Nityananda, um, please come forward to the police. We will support you. Uh, whatever legal needs you have, we'll cover the cost of those legal needs. Um, we have a donation box, any money donated. We'll use that towards your efforts. Basically trying to bribe any woman poor and desperate enough to make an accusation against Swamiji. This came to my notice for the first time in 2011. I looked yesterday, it's still there. And so that means from 2011 to 2017, in six years, they've been literally trying to fish for victims. They only caught one. And the one that they caught, her story is so full of holes that it's on, it, it would be a joke, except for the fact that the media is pulling a spin on it to make it seem believable um, to those in India who don't know well enough not to believe the vested interest paid media. Mm -hmm. And taking, taking advantage of the name that uh, Swamiji has, uh, because of course he has worked for it yes. the, with the good that he has done yes. internationally, yes. taking advantage of that by slandering it and mm. completely putting it in a bad, yes. in a bad light. Who knows, who knows the kind of uh, blackmail, extortion, and, and mm. mess that goes on behind those paid media. Yes. Well, I, I know we get a brief insight into it in a, a recent interview um, I was blessed to have from Manitinanda Maiswami. Mm -hmm. um, she shared with me that when she phoned Sun TV and requested that they air her side of the story, because um, for journalistic mm -hmm. credibility, both sides of every story should be told. And she contacted them and said, the video that you've shown is not real. That's not actually me. Please let me make a statement. You should show both sides of the story. She was told point blank, we know the video is fake. We published it deliberately because we want to push Nityananda out of Tamil Nadu. Then they actually offered that if she pretends that Swamiji had brainwashed her and convinced her to do what was shown in the video, which didn't actually happen, they would pay her. And she refused to do that. When she refused the money, they tried to bribe her with political power. They offered her a seat in one of the local governments. She refused that also. When she refused that seat, she received a phone call suggesting in no uncertain terms that she should leave the country or else risk her personal safety. And that's when she went to stay for some time in the USA. So what corruption goes on behind the scenes of the paid media? I think is very abundantly clear for those who listen to uh, her end of this story. It's one big jumbled, tangled mess of instability and immorality and vengeance, violence. violence. The thing is that it is exactly this that the avatar comes down. Mm. It is exactly for this amount of vengeance, pain, mm. sexual abuse, and and completely um, completely exploiting the vulnerable state of humanity, the vulnerable state of a child, from a child to all sorts of different people. Mm. All of this, all of this negativity that the, mm. uh, that the avatar comes down, that he has to go through and in the end, um, in the end have to prevail just to show humanity that he right. is the avatar. Right, he's like a lightning rod for all the toxicity out there. Yeah. So mm. I hope that the truth finally prevails for mm. uh, in effort with these videos yes. and of course ongoing um, persecution, ongoing yes. um, um, war that's going on in court and outside yes. of it. Yes. Um, I hope that the truth finally prevails mm for the ultimate enrichment of humanity itself. Yes. So, whatever is happening, based on every experience I've had with Swamiji, um, from the injury that he cured miraculously, I had arthritis in my left knee, he cured it overnight. Um, he's done so many miracles, I can't even name them all in one video. Based on all of that experience, it strikes me that this has to be a Leela. He has to be creating some kind of a divine play. It's Sadashiva coming down to the planet. And by putting himself in a position where he is victimized by the paid media, uh, and he is set up in such a heinous crime, 
He'll put an end to all of these kinds of dirty dealings once and for Nobody all. Nobody could even stand it, man. It's Nobody not could stand because this. of his incarnation, mm. that's why he could yes. stand it. Nobody, could. Nobody else could have lived through what Come he's up, been put yes. through. Mm -hmm. And nobody else could have empowered um, two brave souls such as yourselves to live through what you've lived through and still be radiating after all of this. Mm -hmm. So thank you again so much thank for you. sharing your stories. And we'll post the images of these emails at the end of this video, so keep watching uh, for that physical proof. And also please visit the website www.nithyanandatruth.org like the Facebook page called Nityananda Truth and start sharing these facts. Anybody who you know who has ever questioned Nityananda claiming didn't you see the sex tape or didn't you hear about the rape victim or don't you know about the contract? If you know anybody who has been victimized by the lies told, instigated by these three heinous individuals, and propagated by the paid media in India. Share with them what you've learned today because it is time the truth prevails and it's time that those who created this fake story are held accountable for their actions. It's now time for them to be on trial, if not by media, at least by social media. So, thank, thank you, you so much. much.